All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahavachakodash, with Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rachakodash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. I want to get into a quick lesson that's based on the situation that happened last night during the uh, brothers' live stream that they had. And it was uh, concerning the um, Day of Atonement. All right. And you had this individual, which I know who it is. Okay. Even though he came under a different YouTube uh, channel name, I know who this individual is. And this, uh, this individual, he um, was a former member of GMS Chicago, okay? And he decided to leave on his own accord, you know, at the beginning of the year in January, all right? And this individual believes that we are in the new covenant right now as we speak. And just a side note, look, we're not in the new covenant, okay? And for, you know, brothers who need more edification on that topic, you know, just, you know, search, you know, other GMS videos, okay? And you'll find, you know, brothers, you know, who have done, you know, um, you know, videos on that topic, all right? But point being, though, is this individual, he believes in that, okay? And his whole doctrine now is basically the new covenant, all right? This man has been talking about that in every video for the past basically nine months now, man. All right. You know, going on nine months. You see? And, you know, he uh, he's basically losing fire. Okay. And then I'll say this. All these guys... Who, you know, end up leaving um, GMS Their whole doctrine is basically based on us Okay You know, they um, I'll say this they, Look, we don't follow after these guys, okay We don't go, you know, out of our way And, you know, look at their videos And see what they're up to and all that And I'll say this, man Maybe for the first, like, couple weeks or a month after they leave and they start pushing out madness, you know, we'll uh, do uh, rebuttal videos. And it's for the, you know, edification's uh, sake, you know. It's for, you know, the body, basically. You see? And also, as hey, the scriptures talk about, hey, we're, we're set for the defense of the gospel. All right? You know, we'll do that for a little bit. But after, you know, about a month, you know, hey, we, we, we keep it moving. Because there's, hey, there's a lot to talk about in specific prophecies. All right? Which, what's funny is when these guys leave um, GMS, they never focus on prophecies anymore, you know? And that's how you know they don't have the Spirit on them. Because look, as it says in the book of the uh, Revelation, it says, um, if you have the Spirit of Yahweh Shai on, on you, okay, you're going to be talking about prophecies, okay? You see? And that's how you know these guys don't have the Spirit. And that's how you know this individual, all right, his flame is getting uh, uh, getting low, okay? Because the past, you know, eight going on nine months, all he's been talking about is, is, the, uh, is the new covenant in every video that he makes, okay? Every video. And what's funny about this individual is before... He decided, you know, to leave. He would at least do minimum one prophecy update per week in his videos. And he would literally entitle that. He would put prophecy update, you know, he would put the date. And then he'll may, uh, he may put like maybe um, um, a, a name concerning, you know, the subject, right? In the title. This guy hasn't done one prophecy update since he decided to up and leave. Okay, you know, 
And you see this guy, he comes on our pages. So he 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 can, you know, continue to um to forward his ministry. Because if he didn't have us, he wouldn't know what to do with himself. He would lose his marbles, man. Which he's already lost his marbles. He's done. He's through. He's finished. Spirit's, you know, not with him. Okay? You see? And the reason why I'm bringing all this out is, at the end of the day, look, you as an individual have to preach, okay, it, you know, uh, this word with sincerity, okay? That's why I'm bringing this out for you, bro it's really for you brothers out there. You got to preach this word in sincerity. Because look, if you got that spirit of, um, you know, that, that envy, strife, contention on you, you're not going to get far. Okay? You will not get far. And, and, and look, those things that I said, the main root, okay, or the root of all those things is what? Pride. Okay? Which that individual, he, whether he knows it or not, he, he, he's very prideful. Even when he, uh, when he was in the camp. You know, he, he was a individual, you couldn't really tell him anything. He always had like a rebuttal, you know, for, for this and that. Instead of just, you know, you know, taking heed to what was being said by brothers. You know, he, he would be out of pocket, disrespectful. Okay, out of order with, you know, brothers. All right. And so the Lord, you know, eventually gave him that spiritual boot. Okay. Gave him that spiritual boot. And now he's just, you know. Like I said, just I'll say this, he's just another, you know, uh, you know, wandering spirit, man. Going to and fro, has no clue what the hell is going on. Alright? But um, let me start off with this. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 15, and it reads, Some indeed preach Yahweh Shai, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. So you're gonna have two different um two different preachers basically okay one that's doing it you know of goodwill doing things sincerely right and the other the other who's doing it you know be, you know for what you know uh, be, you know or for uh, because of a, what envy strife you know contention right see let's keep reading philippians 1 and 16 now and the one preacher how shy of contention not sincerely Supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. You see? And this guy, he's not doing this out of love, man. Trust me. Okay? So my whole thing is, you know, with him is, all right, cool. You know, we don't believe in the same thing, right? Why are you still bothering us then? Why are you still, you know... Um, going out of your way to, uh, you know, to to, 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 to debate us and all that. Look, man, hey, as the brother Matati has said, you know, when he was responding to you in the, um, in the, uh, in that live chat, as the scriptures say, what, after two admonitions, reject, why aren't you following that scripture then? Look, we clearly don't believe in what you believe in, all right? You see? Hey, can two walk together unless they be agreed? Right? Look, we, we have our conscience seared, and you have your conscience seared, right? You know, with that hot iron. You know, see, the difference between uh, you and us is we have things, you know, we have the true gospel seared in, in our mind, while you have a tainted one, okay? So you're not going to, you know, uh, 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 um, change our minds you're not going to persuade us and look because i know he was saying he mentions uh in the comment board well this could be for individual that needs to hear this you know blah 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 right look man your gospel okay should bring you no know, people to to you right your ministry should you should should have people coming to you but see what's happening is you have no fruit you know you're losing your goddamn mind man all by yourself you know, you know, uh, uh, solitude, you know, being solitude, and it's really, you know, getting to you, man. All right, it's really getting to you. 
And see, he's trying to, you know, heap disciples as the scriptures talk about. You know, he, he, he's trying to uh, gather, you know, disciples unto himself. Because he's wicked. Because look, his, his ministry isn't on point. So the Lord's not giving him fruit. And see, he's mad that he's not the guy. That he, he, he's not the, you know, uh, the, the head, uh, you know, of a camp. The head of a, the, the ministry. Because that's what that came down to as well. Whether he knows it or not. Whether he admitted it or not. He wanted to be the top dog. That's why he always tried to be like, you know, super deep. All right. He, he always tried to, you know, speak, you know, you know, eloquent, uh, eloquent. I can't even say the word right now. Eloquently. All right. You see. And you uh, see the Lord, he, he he's not going to uh, elevate you. All right. Because of these things, he'll elevate somebody due to their, you know, their meekness, you know, their, you know, how humble they are. All right. And, and look, the Lord just has his favorite, so to speak. All right. There's nothing you can do about that. You know, it is what it is. But see, guys get mad about that, that they're not chosen. You know, they're not, you know, the, the ones being picked. All right. For the squad. You see. Well, let me get this word out real quick. Um, um, hold on, let me get this. This is the uh, the word for sincerely, right? This is um, this is the word sincerely in the Greek, G55, and it's hognos. All right, and here are some of the definitions: chase, clean, pure, sincere, uh, sincerity, right? Let's look up this word sincerity. And it says here, the quality of being free from pretense, deceit, or hypocrisy. Okay? So somebody that's truly sincere isn't going to um, tell you deceits. Okay? You know, the, the, there's going to be no hypocrisy in them. And also, you know, the, that means they're not going to be an actor. Okay? Because really, you know, one that, you know, practices hypocrisy is a hypocrite. Okay, and you know when you go into that definition of uh, being a hypocrite, it goes into being an actor. All right, and basically, you know that's what that guy is. He's a professional actor right now. You know, he's uh, you know, um, what does it say? Let me see if I can find this. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing, right? Oh, let me turn this off real quick. right here this is uh matthew 7 and 15 says beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves and when you um pay attention to this guy's you know uh behavior all right he comes as you know being humble meek okay you know he he, he comes as being sincere oh you know i'm just trying to uh wake up those who need to hear this word Hey, I, you know, you know, uh, I'm just doing this so someone can be saved. You know, just lying, bro. You're doing this out of strife and contention, envy. Okay? You're really just a wolf. You know, trying to tear up the, the you know, the, the sheep into pieces, man. Damn devil. That's all you are is a, you're a damn devil, man. A deceiver. Okay. Where's that one and all? Because I want to get the one in uh, the book of Acts. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, man, where's it at? Uh, maybe it's uh, Acts 20. Let me see if I can find it. Forgot how it's worded. Let me see if it's in Acts 20. basically a precept to the uh, the one that I just yep got it right here um you know I'm gonna start at 27 this is Acts 20 and 27 for I have not shunned to declare unto you 
all the counsel of the Most High, which that's what we do. We hey, we tell you about the good, the bad, the ugly. All right. You know what's holy, what's for profane. You see, we tell you what it is. Okay. And then we tell. Hey, I'll say this. You know, even when your brothers come into the camp, look, there's gonna be times where you're gonna get re rebuked, reproved. And you're going to get cursed out. And the, the, look, I'll say this because I've been in the hot seat. Look, it doesn't feel good. You know, sometimes your flesh wants to buck up. Hey, but you got to, you know, put your flesh into subjection and you got to just, you know, listen. OK, no matter what, you can't get out of pocket. You see, that guy was too much for him. It was just too much. All right, let me keep reading, though. It says, take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. And to all the flock, which that's what we do, okay? Hey, we make sure that we're on point and that they, the brethren around us are on point, right? And it says, over the which the Holy Spirit had made you overseers, which really, we didn't make ourselves, you know, those, um, those shepherds, all right, those overseers. The Lord just put us in those positions, positions for, uh, for whatever reason, okay? You see? Because look, a lot of us, hey, we didn't expect to be teaching, you know, the scriptures. You know, a lot of us were, you know, in the world doing all sorts of things. All right. Even when we came into the truth, a lot of us didn't expect the position that we're in. You know, I'll say this, you know, Elder Malcolm always brings this out. He never wanted to be the head of uh, GMS Chicago. He was actually avoiding it for a very long time. Hey, but the spirit basically gave him that dead nudge. The spirit pushed him basically into being the head. And the Lord, and how he says, hey, the Lord jacked him up for not being the head, you know, earlier. Because he had um he had another time where he could have been the head, but he uh he 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 fell back, you know. The point being though is is how uh you have brothers, even when they're in this truth, they they try to, you know. They try to, you know, have the lowliest position, but the Lord, he says, nope, you're going to be in these high ranking positions. All right. And that's what it is. You see, it's not of us. It's not of man. This is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. Let's keep reading. It says to feed the church of the most high, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse 29. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Okay, and that's what that guy is doing right now. Okay, and he was a wolf amongst us, and he, he wasn't, you know, sparing the flock. How did he do that? All right, by teaching rebellion, first and foremost. All right, having that rebel, you know, attitude and spirit on him. And then teaching that false doctrine, trying to, uh, you know, make us eat some GMO doctrine. All right, you see... Drink that tainted water. You see? Let's keep reading. It says, Also of yourselves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. You see? And that's what that guy does. He, he uh, speaks perverse things. You know? Talking about how this, you know, we're in the new covenant. Like, if we're in the new covenant, why am I teaching? Why are we, why, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but that's the main thing for those guys who bring that out. Why are we teaching then? The scriptures say, wait, when the new covenant is in effect, hey, we, we don't have to teach our neighbors from the, uh, from the least to the greatest, right? Break it down. See, those guys always avoid it. They never want to talk about it. And if they do give you an answer, it's going to be something bogus that doesn't even make any goddamn sense. You know, they're going to try to get five deep on you, you know, because, because they, they have no answers. I mean, it's very simple, but hey, you know, to, to, to the righteous, all right, you know, it's plain and simple, baby, but for, for the wicked, hey, these are stumbling blocks, as the book of Sirach says, okay? You know, they speak those perverse things, and then they try to, you know, uh, um, Draw away disciples. And look, if you do it, cool, man. Honestly, I don't care. Hey, if somebody starts following you, awesome, bro. Hey, you know what? They weren't a part of the circle anyways then. 
okay? They weren't a part of the circle. Cool, whatever. It is what it is. I'm, a, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, all right? I don't cry over spilt milk, you know what I'm saying? You see? You see, that, like I said, this is these guys' whole um, ministry. To come up against us, okay, and to try to disturb, you know, and trying to disturb, you know, the workers, okay, trying to tear down this spiritual house that's being built. These guys are just mad because, like I said, they're not a part of the, the club, okay, and they, they're, they're not a member. See, remember, this is members only. They're mad they're not a part of it, okay, they're mad they can't get in, so they're throwing temper tantrums doing you know everything to uh to make us look bad you know slander all right gossip all right uh, 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 uh you know bearing false witness etc and i'll say this now i'm not saying he's bearing false witness per se i'm just saying just in general with, with these type of guys all right you see you know but yeah but point being though brothers they do this in sincerity okay you got to do this in sincerity. You cannot, you know, um, yeah, I'll say this. If you don't do it in sincerity, they, the Lord is going to uh, strip that Holy Spirit from you. And you're, you're going to be in, you know, the worst case scenario, man. All right. So that's pretty much it. Hey, you know, I'm going to end off this lesson. You know, hopefully it was an edifying one. And honestly, man, I, I don't even like, you know, I'll say it like this, man. I don't even like dealing with that individual, but the spirit has has it where I, I got to rebuke this individual, man. All right. Or use him as an example. And I feel like the Lord is doing this is because that was actually close to that that, that, uh, that man. You know, he actually, you know, him and I, you know, used to hang out a lot. You know, we know, um, you know, about each other's lives. OK, you no, know, like I said, we were close, man. And then, you know, he, he you know, he. They, the, the, that evil spirit entered into him And then he just became an enemy man To the cross as the scriptures say Alright He's now an enemy of the cross And it, you know it's a sad thing Because really I want all the brothers to make it You know I want us all to you know To cross that finish line together But there's going to be individuals that they, they, they fall and they don't end up finishing the race man You know So we got to pray that the Lord doesn't you know Strip that Holy Spirit from us Okay You see but um, that's pretty much it, you know. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about you, Al Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball.